Oh, uh, that's gonna be cool. I thought that's the intro clip, but oh my. So recently I asked you guys on my Instagram what skill do you think I should learn and you guys voted for bow staff spinning So that's what I'm gonna be learning. By the way, yes, that is a broom pole I don't actually have a bow staff. Anyway, so the first move I'm gonna be learning of giant stick spinning is called skip catch Now in order to reach a proper speed of rotation What you first want to start by doing is you want to hold the staff in the center with one hand And use your other free hand and lay that on top of your staff hand But you want to ignore the staff when it gets close to your top hand on the first rotation and grab it on the second rotation Then following that you want to immediately turn your bottom hand facing downwards and repeat that same movement. Ignore the staff on the first turn and grab it on the second turn. And then you just repeat this motion over and over again. You skip, catch, skip, catch. The movement itself isn't really that hard, not at all. It is learning to do it fast, fluid, and learn to do it without thinking. That's the hard part. No, I was not faking for the camera, that hurt like the devil. So I seriously recommend that you should not learn this insect. Go outside and learn this, because you kind of become a danger to yourself, everyone, and everything around you. That burns the arms. By losing my grip, I let the stick's natural weight sort of fall and speed up my the spin speed. So, and actually I noticed that by starting up here, I'm actually going a lot faster. Because there's not so much strain on my shoulders, I think. Towards my... Ugh. Oh, oh, that, oh, that one hurt. Like I said, it gets painful, and I'm really a danger to myself too. Skip. Okay. Just, I don't get here. I get here. But as they say, nothing good ever comes easy. So after pushing through the pain, literally, I finally did start seeing a little bit of progress. That was it, that was it. Let's go! Okay. Thank you. Although funny enough, I actually found a giant stick when I was at Stanley Park. And I wasn't really planning on filming that day, that's why I had that kind of weird angle, but I thought, you know, this is giant stick spinning, so... Ah, uh, thank you stick from Stanley Park, you have served me well. Now there's only one honorable thing to do. Oh, well, here we show you rest until your next call. After that ceremony, I decided that it was time to move on to technique number two, which is called Pinky Leads the Way which I need to learn for the last and final technique, which is also the hardest, so stay to the end to see me struggle with that final technique. Now in complete honesty, this one was not really that hard at all, I honestly instantly got it. Of course there was room for improvement, but I got it pretty fast. The whole idea behind this movement is that you want to have whichever hand you're using holding the staff sort of be flexible but also tight at the same time. Does that make sense? Because you're basically using the staff to make a shoveling motion where you're swooping and creating these giant swoops around you but the key behind speed is using the power from your core. By focusing on moving your core while keeping your other hand on your chest and just focusing on that fast fluid movement it's actually relatively easy to get this pretty fast. I'm not falling through enough. Funny enough though, that wasn't even the problem. You see, the actual problem was that my wrist was really, really tight and my legs were not grounded enough. You see, by keeping a tight wrist, you end up losing a lot of rotation as the staff spins in the air because the staff will actually end up following the movement of your wrist. So the looser your wrist, the better. And by not having your legs be grounded enough, you actually end up losing a lot of power and speed. That's why having a wider stance is more ideal. That one hurt. And after returning from the hospital to fix my broken legs, I finally started working on the final move, which is the hardest move of all the skills I'm learning. And to say this move was hard is a literal understatement because this move was hard. It literally took me literal days before I even got something decent. So for this move, I decided it would be best to break it down to the basics and learn step by step. But that didn't make it any easier. 
So first, you start by performing the move Skip Catch, rotating the stick in front of your body as fast as you can. But then this is where things get really complicated because you have to rotate the stick behind your back, grab it with your other hand, and then use the move Pinky Lee in the way to bring the staff in front of your body to re-perform Skip Catch to complete the combo, and then you just repeat that combination over and over again. It sounds easy, but it's actually really, really difficult. However, the only way to learn is to try and fail, and try I did! I even had the bruises to prove it. But as they say, there's always a light at the end of the tunnel, and I eventually did start seeing some regression. So much so that I was able to even ignore all the stairs I got. Yes, I'm spinning a stick. Please don't call the police. So after a lot of practice, I finally started seeing some progression. I was able to go from this to this. Of course, there were a few more things I need to smooth out, but I mean, that's for another day. And another day it was, because it was raining that day. Pretty hard. But time waits for no man, and I wanted a video to upload on my channel about four months ago. Let's not talk about that. Let's talk about how hard it is to spin a stick in the rain. Oh my gosh. But determined I was to get this done. And also get this video done. Like four months ago. Anyway, so I actually already had the speed part down as you saw in the previous clip. So I was working on the actual flowiness of the move. Because again, the skill requires a lot of flowiness. Speed was pretty easy at this point. But eventually once the sun decided to come out, this happened. Wait, 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 I think that was it! Wait. Yeah. It wasn't perfect, far from it, but at the time, I thought I got something pretty decent, and well, I got pretty sick of spinning this stick. But as the perfectionist I am, I decided to keep going and keep practicing just to smooth it out a bit more, because there's still a lot of kinks that need to be worked out, and I thought I did that. But looking back on it, like, what the hell is with the elbow? That looks so funky. Yes! So after procrastinating for a very long time, I decided to come back to this and get this mastered. Unfortunately for me, that's a lot easier said than done because, well, it's the winter time, it's been like 4 months since I last tried it, and well, the winter, unbeknownst to me, makes this so much harder. <laughs> like, legitimately, I know it doesn't look like winter at all, but it was really cold outside. Don't question my attire. It was really cold outside, so it just made this so much harder. No joke, I felt like I had a concussion. But after coming back from the hospital for like the 50th time, I was finally able to finish this long journey, and I ended up with something I was pretty happy with. Again, it was far from perfect, but I ended up with something I was pretty happy with, and it was a lot better than last time. If you liked today's video, if you did, please do leave a like down below. Honestly, these skill-based videos are a ton of fun to make, and I promise more are coming out soon. Maybe I shouldn't make promises that I can't keep. <laughs> Anyways, most recent videos pop up on the screen, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and remember guys, do what you love, love what you do. Peace.